Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Papa John G223, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you guys the fact that Rockstar Games is finally communicating with us. They have finally spoken up, and they're finally have posted something on Twitter discussing the new updates and stuff coming for GTA Online and Red Dead Online. So, I'm going to be reading you guys the tweets and showing you guys the tweets as they follow, so please stick with me, and I'll read them out to you guys, and, uh... I'm not going to drag the video out, I'm just going to read them, and then you guys can just go from there, because I'm not going to clickbait. So anyways, let's get on with the video. So the first tweet read as follows, as I'm going to read you guys right here. We're happy to share that both GT Online and Red Dead Online will both be receiving new existing updates in the following weeks ahead. Alright, now once you click on the link right there, this is what it says. It says, GT Online and Red Dead Online updates coming soon. With both games playing home to more players than ever before in recent months, we know that the community has been awaiting news of any updates for GTA Online and Reddit Online, and we are happy to share that both games will receive exciting new updates in the following weeks ahead. For Red Dead Online, players can expect a massive new update to arrive Tuesday, July 28th, featuring a new frontier pursuit that will introduce players to the secrets of naturalism as part of an all new role, plus a new outlaw pass, tons of community requested features and fixes, and much more to play and discover in the months to come. Then it also says a summer update to GTA Online is also on the way, offering up a fun mix of diverse new content from the game's massive array of experiences to enjoy. Later this year, players can expect more big updates for both games, including some exciting new extensions and augmentations to an existing role in Red Dead Online, and the biggest ever update for GT Online. Now it says biggest ever update, but we'll see about that. Anyways, it says featuring our latest take on Heist in an entirely new new location. Now, uh, there's a picture of a car, which obviously for GT Online, then there's also a picture of uh, something for Red Dead Online. I'll play Red Dead Online, so I'm sorry. But anyways, next it says community feedback, so if you guys really want to hear this, I'll read it to you. Thanks to your submissions via our official feedback channels, we have added a number of highly requested features across recent updates, including musical instruments in Red Dead Online, the ability to run all businesses via their master control tournament in GTA Online, and more. More of your suggestions will find their way into our games in the next few weeks, so please keep the feedback coming by sending us your thoughts via the GTA Online and Red Dead Online feedback pages. We're also committed to ensuring that our games are fun for everyone and as safe as possible for modders, cheaters, hackers, and those who seek to harass other players. So far this year, we've taken action on hundreds of thousands of players caught violating community rules across both games. So please help us and our communities stay safe and fun by reporting any sort of cheater either directly in-game or via our dedicated web reporting tools for both Red Dead Online and GT Online. Keep your eye out for even more news on the way, as it always is. Stay tuned to the Newswire for more information. And uh, the last thing it says is just uh, the Blista Conjo for GTA Online, so that's it. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you did enjoy the efforts I put into it, please like and subscribe, share the video, and that's it. So, yeah, guys, that's it. If you did enjoy, please uh, subscribe, and that's it. <laughs> Sorry for repeating myself. All right. See you guys. Peace.